What's going on everybody, I'm Primal Liquid and welcome back to another guide for Star Ocean The Divine Force. In this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to create the absolute best armor for each character, okay? Including the factors that go on them. And this is actually far more simpler than you could possibly imagine and if you have the dedication to really save scum your way through it, you can actually get these armors incredibly, incredibly early in the game as well. Basically, all you need to unlock is alchemy and uh, smithery. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's jump in to what we actually need, shall we? So in order to create a heavy armor, we need Midas with level 10 smithery, okay? You can boost this through just using SP if you want, that is entirely up to you. But he does need to be level 10 for this. For the light armor variant, so for things like casters and that, you are going to want the same, but for Malkia, you need level 10 smithery. If you're early on, also make sure you get Alchemy to level 10. I recommend Albert for this, because he's the only one who can create Philosopher's Stones through Alchemy. And of course, yes, that does mean you are going to need Philosopher's Stones for this. Now, the armors in question, one of them is the Kovacha Plates. This is a heavy type armor. It offers 7,500 defense and 5,000 guts. This is going to be used on our actual characters that, you know, light gain up into an enemy's face just for the extra defense and then for our light armor for the other characters we are going to be using the Aegis Guard. This does offer lower defense and lower guts at only 6,276 for each. However, it does also come with the benefit of giving an extra 1,500 int. It gives you 55% protection against poisoned and confused and also has 50% earth resistance as well. This combined with the tri emblems and innate character resistances means you are going to be completely protected against any and all earth damage in the game as well as basically being immune to poisoned and confusion which is freaking nuts trust me on that you want you want the confusion resistance for ethereal queen for sure so how do we actually make them well as mentioned you are going to need philosopher's stones and you are going to need a bunch of fall luckily for you guys i have just recorded a video that shows you how to get two billion fall per hour so definitely take a look in the description for the Star Ocean playlist if you want to see how to do that. Trust me, it sounds like a lot, but you'll burn through that with synthesis in no time at all. So if you don't have uh, Philosopher's Stones, what you want to do is use Alchemy with Albed. Simply go through the list of materials. Obviously, I only have a few right now and upgrade them as you go. Uh, essentially, you know, things like uh, Moonstone turns into Meteorite, Meteorite can turn into the Exolithium Crystal, and Exolithium Crystal can turn into Philosopher's Stone. If you really, really want to as well, you can buy the Philosopher's Stones from Santa in Ultima Fuel. However, I don't really recommend that as they are 120,000 fall each. I suggest just going the upgrade route. It's pretty much rare. It's rather easy, to be fair. Okay, so once you have the Philosopher's Stones, we're going to use Smithy on Midas first. And the reason we're going to do it with Midas is he is the only one who can create the Kavacha Plate. So we're just going to go through now and... Okay, I did not get it right there, unfortunately, so we're just going to try again. But yeah, unfortunately, Midas is the only one who can create this. It is what it is, you know, it's not, it's not the end of the world, so just make sure you level him up to level 10. He doesn't need anything else special. Okay, so I didn't get that time, unfortunately. It is what it is. This is just the joys of RNG crafting, basically. So we didn't get it again, so we're just going to keep trying again. Now, you can actually save scum this if you were, if you are worried about spending so much fall. And there we go, the Kavacha plates. 7,500 defense, 5,000 guts. Just ignore the factors, we're going to replace them anyway, it doesn't matter what factors you get on this, they are all going to be replaced. But yeah, it doesn't matter if you uh, if you don't get it the first time, you can save scum your way if you are worried about fall or your amount of philosopher's stones, 
Me, I'm honestly not that worried with the amount of fall we can earn now. I don't care about burning through it or burning through philosopher stones because I can just go and buy more pretty much. So there is the Kavatra plate. Now we're going to do the same for the Aegis Guard. Now for this you want to use Malkier in Smithy as well. And we're also going to use Philosopher's Stones. And we didn't get it once again. You know, it's always the same. Whenever you start recording, you never have any luck. And there we go, the Aegis Guard. Super, super simple way to get the two best armors in the game. And this is effectively going to cover every single character. Now, one thing I will say is with Midas, for example, even though he can equip the Kavacha plate, I do not recommend doing that, okay? Midas is pretty much a casting focused character, which means even though he does get a lot of defense from the Kavacha plate, you actually want to use the Aegis Guard with him, simply due to the fact it does give a massive amount of inters. Wait, can he not equip it? Maybe he can't equip it. I could have swore he could equip Light Armor. No, he can't equip it. Never mind, I guess uh, Midas is using the Kavacha plate as well. That's kind of a shame. The extra int would have been great for him. But yes, we're going to use the Kavacha plate on... Um, Raymond, JJ, and Midas. JJ doesn't have any int casting ability, so there's no point. Raymond only has one. So again, like, int doesn't really matter too much for them. They just want extra defense. Midas, unfortunately, is stuck with a factor plate because he cannot use the Aegis Guard, which would have been, <coughs> which would have been better for him. But it is what he says. As for the other characters like Marial, uh, Malkia, Elena, and so on, use the Aegis Guard because it's pretty much the best defense they can get. Now, as for the factors that we are going to be putting on them, that's actually really, really simple. We are going to be using accessory and weapon boosting factors, okay? Now, these factors do have a 60% cap, as we have now found out. So, what you want to do is you want to have plus 30, plus 30 for accessories, and then you want to have plus 30, plus 30 for weapons as well. Obviously, I have 48, 48 weapons. They were the first factors I found in my list of gear, so I just use them. I'm not gaining any extra benefit. It does cap at 60%, so don't worry about that. As we have found out, the interaction with boosting effects is ridiculously, ridiculously strong. So this way, we use two slots to boost four slots on the weapon, and we use two slots to boost eight slots across the accessories. And that's why it's just the easiest way to use the armor for this. So all you have to do now is synthesize your factors on. But though everybody, that is going to be it for this video. I hope it's helped and I hope you've enjoyed it. If it has helped, then please be sure to smash that like button and drop a comment down below. It really helps out the channel. And of course, if you are new, then hit that subscribe button as well. I'm still going to be making guides on how to get each character's individual best weapon. So if you're looking forward to that, then stick around. As always, everybody, thank you for watching. And I'll see you soon.